Hey YouTube, Saint Frank here. Today, um, I had a one package uh, um, eBay purchase video, and um, this uh, one package eBay uh, purchase video went very, took a very bad turn, and I had to stop it because I needed to uh, to prepare myself for what you're gonna see here. Um, yes. This is Sandy Frank, and I got eBay scammed, and it sucks. Um, I'm definitely going to get in touch with this seller, because I have a feeling that the seller did not realize it. I hope they didn't realize it, but here's the cards I got. Now, they, they took very good care of the cards. Shipped them in um, mag holders, which is cool, because uh, these are not cheap, these mag holders. Now... Take a look at the backs of these cars. They look just fine, right? And when I looked at the uh, the listing, um, they looked just fine, and um, I felt like everything was good. But when I get them, they're Mega Charizard, the secret rare versions of Mega Charizards. But they just didn't look right when I um, was looking at them. Like the the finish on these is way off. Let me pull the card out of here. Now, this is scary because usually you can tell fake cards by the fonts and all that stuff because they just don't look right. But this one, without looking at that shimmer, it looks pretty good. And the back even looks really good. I mean, that's scary that they're getting this good at reproducing um, Pokemon cards. But if you look at this shimmer, the, uh, the hollow shimmer, it just don't look right. That just does not look like what Pokemon puts on the cards. It's like a just a... a a uh, a film over it as it were okay so I have um, some actual for real um, I have a real Mega Charizard EX let me, let me also show this one here's the other one and like the condition of the cards looks great you know these are you know near mint or way off center on the back more than what I thought but it just doesn't look right um, in hand and of course that shimmer is terrible and also I didn't even notice this but look at at the top do you guys see that it says on this mega Charizard it says evolves from Charizard EX and on this one it says evolves from Gyarados EX so what in the world um, obviously Pokemon does not screw stuff like that up and I looked at other um, of the Mega Charizards, and they do not say. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe it's an error. No, it's not an error. And I actually have a real. This is a legit Mega Charizard EX. It's not super mint condition, but I want to just go ahead and send it in to get uh, authenticated and all that sort of thing. But look at the shimmer on that. And oh yeah, see look evolves from Charizard EX not Gyarados EX and I know this is not the secret rare but the the shimmer on the secret rare would be similar to that see how the hollow how the hollow reacts it's not just like a film over the card you can actually see, it's like a you can see the the hollow pat the hollow when the light hits it the way it reacts this one just does not look right. I mean, the whole card, um, instead of like just little bits of the hollow lighting up, the whole card lights up. It's not right. Now the fonts, fonts, man, fonts look great. I mean, this is a little bit lighter colored card too. I mean, it's supposed to be a more gold colored card, but um, yeah, the board, the top border don't look quite right. Um, yeah, I'm just this part doesn't look right. If you look at the uh, the Japanese lettering right there, it looks way crisper in this than it does in that one. Um, for some reason, they didn't get that very close. Oh, and if you notice the the Charizard up here is holographic it is there's no shimmer on that except for just the film of the whole um, card so 
that's a good and the, the label up here it's all um, holographic up there and let's see you can see that where it says uh, evolves from Charizard EX this one it's just there's no nothing on there except for a film of holographic film on top of everything like different parts of the card don't light up like on a real Pokemon card yeah, if you look at the back you can really tell the color is not right when you look at right next to a real Pokemon card you notice this is like a dark blue color the middle part man it's pretty close and now that I'm looking at it in hand you can tell there's a lot more of a blue contrast in this part of the card on a real Pokemon and on the fake one it kind of blends in more it's like a lighter blue almost kind of a purpley border um but this is this is the best made fake pokemon card i've ever seen and that's even even doing this good of a job on um faking a card they made a huge error by putting evolves from Girados ex and i should have caught that when i bought this but um you might be thinking oh maybe the shimmer's different because this isn't the secret rare well, i do have um these are from that card is from flash fire um, where they have the secret rare megas in um, in Furious Fist, I know these are real because I pulled them myself. Here's the Mega Lucario EX and the Mega Lucario um, secret rare, and you can tell they both have that same holographic shimmer. And if you notice up here, so this is a good test, I guess, for a fake card. Is the uh, symbol up there, the little Lucario? All that lights up on the hollow. And they cannot get that right on a uh, fake. Again, like the whole card lights up. It doesn't like... It's just a whole film over here where the Pokemon card, they've got it designed well enough where little parts of the card light up. Now, this is the Megas. So, um, one thing um, that you definitely if you feel nervous about buying Pokemon cards also look for texture now the Megas do not have the texture or like regular EX's and stuff but a full art EX is textured and what I mean by textured is if you look real close you can see how the card actually has a etched surface and there's no way a fake card is gonna is gonna try that I don't think because it's just far too expensive of a process to make an a textured surface I've never seen or even heard of a fake card having a textured surface so if you can notice that the the card that you're buying has a textured service surface I would be pretty confident that it's legit and again if you look at the backs of these cards very consistent with that blue color these are all real ones um, here's the one even that's not a, uh, in a holder here Here's the regular, uh, real Pokemon card versus the fake one. Um, here's the, if you look at the the glare of the light in the card. See the Pokemon card kind of distributes that glare more evenly. And this one, it's more um, focused on one, I guess if you bend the card a little bit, it's close. But it's just a little bit of a different glare. This one's more mirror-like and this one's more distributing of the light. So, yeah, it is possible. If I can get scammed, and I'm usually very careful in what I uh, make bids on and stuff. Um, I just wasn't that careful in this, and it's definitely a lesson learned. Um, this person is, uh, I'm going to get in touch with them and tell them, hey, these cards are fake. See what they say. But I am going to start the process of getting my money back. And um, I'll send these back to them if, if that's what they want to do. And, um yeah so i did get scammed um i'm gonna be a lot more careful now and um definitely look a lot closer and now that i can see how how far these um counterfeits are advancing these are some little things to look for uh, and um hopefully you guys are careful out there making ebay purchases and um stay tuned for more videos i uh, hope this helps you guys and uh, hopefully it keeps somebody from making a counterfeit purchase and losing 
wasting hard-earned money on fake Pokemon cards. All right, stay tuned for more videos. Later.